All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Frostpunk, or as I like to think of it, Sad City Simulator. I'm playing a lot of sad blank simulators recently, and this one looks like it's going to be no different. So this is about um, a city in kind of like a post, I think it's pseudo post-apocalyptic or effectively environmental collapse. Everything is snowy and cold and shitty and everybody has to work, including children and people and... Yeah, this is not going to be a fun game. I mean, who knows? It might actually be fun. But I don't think this is going to be emotionally pleasant. Uh, this is made by the people that made uh, This War of Mine. And they make wonderful games that I generally don't want to play. Uh, but now it shouldn't be a problem. Maybe. I don't know. I, I tried This War of Mine for about 10 minutes, and I was just like, this is too heavy for me. So... <laughs> If I make it to 30 minutes in, I will feel proud of myself today. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow. With it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they went north, but a new home. We fled London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy on the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of the generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should just expect the worst now that the world we know is crumbled. We have to survive. I don't know why they went up north. I don't know about you, but I don't spend my winters in Siberia. Okay, we need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start a generator. Okay. Pause. So this is a real-time game. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, let's see. So, it's negative 40 deg degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for those of you that you know, use sensible measurements. Uh, I'm sorry. But for me, um... For me, I guess, I have to go with something that I recognize. Otherwise, it's just going to be random numbers to me. Let's see, so how do we stockpot... pile anything? That's coal deposit. Build a mine here to start extraction. So we've got a number of these. We can rotate the city around. I've actually had access to this game for a while. I've just kind of been putting off uh, playing it specifically. Okay, people, food, 
resources, gathering post, coal piles. Are these okay? So these are coal piles. So we we want to build a gathering post, not adjacent to street. Well, hopefully I can move this around. What is this stuff? Oh, I see. Under construction, waiting for workers. Should be good. But I can set the I can set the time. Okay, so well they work on that. People, tents, cost ten wood. Uh I don't have that many wood. How many people do I have? Trying to figure that out. Why is this game ridiculously quiet? Audio, master, music, sound effects. I guess I'll turn it up. I would, this game's menu is like ridiculously loud, but you actually get in the game and it's like, shh. Well, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. How do I see how many people I have? Okay, unemployed, not that many. Requires at least one worker. So how do I how do I operate this? I don't think we need engineers for this thing. Probably. On inoperative, not adjacent to street. Do I need a street? Build street. Okay, well, I'm gonna just start with a basic road like this. So there's just a generator hanging out here in the middle of nowhere. Alright. Is there no option for temperature or subtitles? Uh, or both temperatures. It'd be nice if I could see both. And I don't think there's a... Yeah, no subtitles. I don't think we have any more cutscenes. So, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. But yes, I specifically want this Fahrenheit, otherwise it's not going to make any sense to me. Okay, uh, let's see. So while we're at it... What are these? Wood crates. I should probably pause and figure out what other resources I have. So I got wood crates, steel wreckage. So we probably want another gathering camp here. To just gather, grab some of this stuff. Build... Street? Okay, so we do have some kind of oval tent thing. Oh, I don't have any wood. Oh, maybe I messed up. We have wood crates, wood crates, steel wreckage, wood crates, steel wreckage, wood crates. We got coal piles. Hopefully I can get some more wood or something. Oh. Okay, I can just send people out to... ...get a number of these. Night is coming. Put down your tools. Generator. What is this? Tutorial summary. Okay, you can move the camera. WASD keys. Ah, that's helpful. Resources and workforce. You need coal to power the generator. Wooden steel for construction. Steam cores are a key part of advanced building. Raw food is used to prepare rations. Got it. Streets. Streets must be connected to the generator. Otherwise, they won't function. Build a street. Open the construction panel. Got it. Controlling time. Got it. Construction. Only use the construction menu. Building streets. People not working can build structures. Buildings inside the heat zone are warmer and provide better living and work conditions. Make the best use of the heat zone. Buildings are placed in a radial grid. Okay, and generator. Generator is the heart of the city and only source of heat in this frozen hole. You should turn it on as soon as you stockpile enough coal. Generator heats a circular zone around it, consuming at least six unit units of coal per hour. You can research generator upgrades that raise the heat output, expand the heat zone, and reduce the coal usage. Okay, well, how much coal do I have? That's 50. 
the generator is... I can probably turn it on. On? Okay, it's functioning. So we, we finally got uh, these. Temperature. The temperature inside a building depends on the power setting of the generator. The building is in the heat zone. The building's insulation and conditions outside. There are six temperature levels. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, and freezing. Keeping homes and workplaces as warm as possible helps prevent people from getting ill. Some workplaces might become inoperative if the temperature falls too low. So do resources deplete? It doesn't look like it. Oh no, they will. We've got 473 on each of these, but that's just the coal pile. The coal deposit probably lasts longer. Maybe? I don't know. Hopefully the, the game ends before we, uh, we run out. Okay, so we have... Maybe some wood. Here, I'm gonna... Turn this down. I'm gonna try and spread my people out. I'm not entirely sure what will uh will will get them to specifically work on these. Or is it nighttime? Oh, I see. Free time. So people are not working. So what is this? Wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree with everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, and we also have no roof over our heads. Two days to provide shelter for 80 people, or 40 people. Uh, I'm going to try and provide some shelter. We just need free time to end so people can, can work on... Um, So people can work on these. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep turning up the sound. It's this game is dead quiet. I'll turn the sound effects up too. The main menu is ridiculously loud, so I'll just have to remember to never start recording on that specific section. Or did I turn it down even further here, like a ninny? I did. There we go. Okay, now that might be a little bit loud. Sound balance is really difficult. Especially for streams. Okay, let's let's turn this up. So we're getting coal. We're not getting any wood yet. I might have I might have screwed myself over. We'll see. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough coal to last the night. Pause. Book of Laws. Okay. Fighting Arena Emergency Shift. Go back. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Economy? Yeah, they're post. Yeah, I might have made a mistake with the coal. Okay, you don't need roads, but they do help. Yeah, we're probably going to run out of coal because nobody's working right now. Well. Illness and healthcare. Cold homes or workplaces cause people to get sick. Without proper care, they can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated in a medical post, but the gravely, gravely ill need an infirmary to be treated. Until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of two laws. Radical treatment allows you to treat the gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will be left as amputees. The sustained life law allows you to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated in medical posts or care houses indefinitely. Okay, so we got sick and a bunch of homeless. Hmm. You know what? 
As silly as this sounds, I'm gonna quit out to the main menu of Big uh, and try try again. Maybe. I don't know. You, you can turn off the generator. Well, it's. I mean, it's off. I should have had it off earlier. Unfortunately, I don't. Oh jeez, it's resting time now. Okay, now the generator's out. Now people are getting sick. Uh, we might be okay. We've got three six zero gravely. If you guys actually go out and get resources, unfortunately... Oh, hello. What's this? Remember the sick is rising. We don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Short burst of effort will help us gather... Okay, so I probably should have done emergency set shift from the beginning. Why don't we do that? Instead of screwing myself over from the beginning, let's abandon this timeline and jump to another one. Okay, fight the cold, pause. So, this time around, let's not be stupid. So that we've got some coal deposits up here. We do have some tree frozen trees up here, but that's sawmill. Coal pile, steel wreckage, bunch of wood crates, steel wreckage, wood crates, wood crates, steel wreckage, coal pile. Okay, build a resources gathering post. Can I gather multiple? Yes. Better to go this direction so we can actually get all of them this time. Okay, and while we're here, that's wood crates. I'm gonna max that out. The street's under construction, everything's under construction. Okay, cool. Just go hard, what could go wrong? I'm not very good at uh, city and, and whatnot management. Like, this is not the kind of game that I'm generally good at. I don't play them very often. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna start with, uh... I think I'm gonna start this off almost immediately. Uh, let's see, I've still got 30 people. Uh, start this off immediately with an emergency shift. We'll need it. Okay, we're already pulling in the coal. And just one shitty night to begin with should solve a lot of problems. As opposed to everybody just checking out and resting from the beginning. Let's see. So let's take a look at the Book of Laws, because we've probably got some to work with. Child labor... Safe jobs. Yeah, let's do safe jobs. We're gonna need it immediately. Okay, so we'll we'll start with child labor. And people don't like that so much, but like, I don't really have much of a. Uh, I don't even know why this is considered controversial, honestly. Okay, do I still have people available? That's maxed out. So I do have some engineers and stuff. Oh. You know, nobody's actually working at this one. Yeah, you need to actually assign the kids to work. Okay. These are maxed out. I guess I'll put five kids on this. I probably should have done the emergency thing first. Maybe? We'll see. 
How do I set work time? Because that's the other thing I'd like to work on. But I don't know if I have much of a choice. Okay, so we have some steel, steam cores, raw food, food rations. So that'll run out. But this is this is already going so much so much better now that I know what I'm doing. So if we're lucky, this will work. And if we're not lucky, uh, and everybody starts starving and dying, I'll, I'll just give this another reboot tomorrow or something. <laughs> Maybe turn down the difficulty a bit. Like I said, this just isn't my kind of game generally. I would much prefer to, um... Let's see. Do we start getting some tents? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna do a three road system. One, two, and then a third going off this way. I guess I'll max out the kids grabbing steel. That's... that's kosher. Sure it is. Just a little bit more and we'll have that 200 coal. Time to rest, folks. The work's out today. Oh, it looks like they will build their tents while we're here. So that's probably helpful. Oh, looks like it can build roads in between. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna build a shit ton of, uh... Shit ton of tents to begin with, and hopefully these guys will spend free time making lodgings. Now, what is this? Stockpiles. Okay, so I've got enough for 60 and I've got 80 people total. So let's, let's make two more sets of tents here. Tents are one of the only things they'll build during free time. Hey, I'll take it. And once it hits actual nighttime, uh, once it hits actual nighttime, I'll turn on the generator. I was hoping to stockpile 200, but I guess we'll have to get that tomorrow. Now, can you upgrade tents? It doesn't look like it. Maybe with research. Probably with research. So what do we have? We have people. We have health. So a medical post might not be a bad idea. Hunter's Hut. Hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track prey in the frozen wasteland. 15 raw food a day. Okay, so that's probably... That and coal is probably the most useful. Okay, and the workshop is lab. Okay, so that'll be helpful. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, hello. The heating is off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death if it's not off for the night. I'm gonna turn it on as soon as it actually gets to be nighttime. I guess I could turn it on now. I'm trying to make as much time out of that, um... Yeah, red right button now. And if we're lucky, they'll finish making these tents. If we're not lucky, they'll be stupid. Okay, good. I was gonna be I was gonna be kind of pissed if they're like, nope, too tired, not gonna make tents, go to bed. Yeah, up to 15 food, not a guarantee. Oh, that's a problem. Now, question: how much food will these people eat? Can I check economy? So that's the generator. Uh what about food? 80 per day. Okay, so that's that's tomorrow. Okay. So food. We are going to need a cookhouse. Other question, can I build a road? Okay, cool. 
So I can build roads between each one of these camps, so I don't have to worry about locking anything on. Good, I was worried about that. So I'm probably just gonna put a cookhouse here. And hunter's huts. Funny wood. Okay. So health, we will need a medical post as well. So I'm probably gonna have to turn a bunch of these these down too. Okay. So I have some people that are sick. It looks like they're starting to work on the hunter's hut in the cook house. Okay, so let's pause. Let's rethink. So wood crates... We probably don't need as much on these. Let's turn that down a bunch. Nobody's on that one. Nobody's on that one. I'll leave those for later. Right now, I'll get resources from this, probably. I think you messed up. You only built one road out of the center. They'll have to go all the way to that other road. No, no, no. They'll go between the tents. Okay. So at this point, we're more or less just waiting. Okay. For some resources. So, for starters... Max workers on that hunting hut. Closed at this time of day. Right. They will hunt at night. And we'll get the medical post. Okay, food. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mind of coal reserve. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food, there would be no city if we starved to death. Secure a way of providing raw foods and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Now, do I actually need... I right, guess the children are cooks. Okay. I'm going to take two engineers and chuck them on the medical post. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try and rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout frost land, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. We need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Okay. A little bit more interest in food, honestly. Oh, hello. Child injured at work. Uh, let's see. Child got distracted at work has been injured. The accident was not serious and happened entirely due to the child's carelessness. Uh, give the child a day off. I don't know what Hope necessarily does, but should help. Okay. And three being treated. Y'all live. That's, that's the steel wreckage that I had the kids pulling from anyway. I don't know how much steel we exactly need. But it's worth. Okay. So did I want to get another hunter's hut? Well, here's a question. Where are my other major roads. Because so I should probably get my other major roads down. Specifically, I'm going to need a road here. I'll get another hunter's hut right in this mess. Now, is that up to 15 food per day? Oh, jeez. So, to... F How many hunters? What the... How?
Wander generator. Okay. Are people just telling me to turn off the generator? I guess I can do that. We're gonna need to work on food though. Up to 15 raw food a day. So I'm gonna need three hunter's huts. Or that's, that's up to. Okay. End of shift. Oh, is there a law? Soup. We can cook soup instead of the full meals to feed people the same amount of raw food. Hope will fall slightly, discontent fall slightly. Yep, let's go soup. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. And we're going soup. Because the standard meal, four rations from two raw food, five rations from two raw food. Yeah, that's a little bit more helpful. These people are very whiny for things that they probably absolutely need. And then some. Okay, we have another hunter's hut, so let's max that out. And I don't have anything else. Well. That's children there. That's the coal pile. A bunch of adults. And these guys are hunters. Okay, so hopefully that'll give us some food. So we do have some food rations that we can work with, at the very least. So next up, we want to build... Okay, the heating is off. Yeah, this is a good time to flip it back on. Okay. So next up, we pretty much just want to build the workshop and start researching things if I can. What's the base heat on the workshop? Base heating level 2. I can probably put it along that road. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get some efficiency upgrades if I can. But for now, hopefully we'll just be able to pick, pick up some food as we go. So, okay, we're getting some people sick, but that's that's not a big deal. Don't have to don't have to worry about it. I guess I should probably speed this up even further. Oh, hello, protective mother. Mother has refused to let her daughter go to work, afraid she'll get injured. We can look the other way this time; the others might see it as unfair. We're we don't. The children are more supplementary at this point. Like, ideally, uh, once we've got the necessary efficiency upgrades, I will probably make it so the children don't work. It really just depends on how unlucky we are here. Okay, so I have some engineers. Let's add a new research. Drawing boards, drafting machines, steam hub, beacon, resources, faster gathering, full thumper, sawmills, steelworks, food, hunter's gear. Let's go food. Because, yeah, we're going to... 
we're going to be in uh, bad straits if we don't have more food production. Yeah. Whole pile is depleted. So in that case, we probably want to look into making a mine. Well, I've got coal for a little while, so we're out of we're out of coal there. We do have more coal in this one. I've got 15 available, so I'm just going to send coal workers out there. The gathering post might not be so worth worthwhile in the future. Greenhouse, far more re reliable food production than hunting. Unfortunately, I think I have to start with hunting, hunting first. Uh, I really wish I could actually look at the tech tree. Ah, here it is. So the hot house, hot house is the is probably the next thing we want. Yeah, looks like it. Flying hunters, huh? Yeah. So we'll want the hot house, but I I can't do that yet. Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the sea with the main group, but she's sure that they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team they'll send out. She urges you to hurry. Do what we can. We're gonna start with food. So far, food looks not not a problem. But we'll get the hot house, then I'll start working on recruitment. Seal wreckage depleted. Okay, so can I dismantle the gathering post. I don't need it anymore. Let's see, that's a bunch of wood crates. Yeah, unfortunately I have to build a mine before I can get the coal there. I'll just pull from this for, for now. We also do have a coal pile over here. I guess I'll just pull from these instead of walking. Okay, for coal you want to get a coal thumper and build two gathering posts next to it. Okay. Actually, hold on. I gotta put some more people, uh... Night is coming. Put down your tools. Oh. I had my... I had my generator running. So you wanna get the stockpile before the deep freeze. Yeah, I gotta remember to shut off the generator for the day. Unfortunately, I'm not so great at remembering that. I'll forget tonight. It'd be nice if I could almost automate it. You know, high, medium, and low. Now, there are higher levels. Oh, jeez. Well, maybe we'll be able to uh, afford that in future, future setups. Crank that speed up even further. So Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. Yeesh. Pricey. Okay, so I have like one spare Work time. Get moving. person. Engineers. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the engineers from there. We want to max. We want to max that out at the very least. Okay, you're not done. Wood crates are depleted. Let's keep grabbing these. Generator overdrive. Well, I don't think we need overdrive, but I am going to keep the generator on for the whole day. Let's see, so we have no raw food, but that's fine. 
Too cold. It must be at least chilly inside to work. Uh-oh. Okay. So we've got new research I should probably go for. Drawing boards. Tier 1 research. research. 8 hours at 100% research rate. Otherwise, we could look into faster gathering beacon steam hub. For heaters. So the hothouse is important, but we're not starving yet. Do we go beacon first? Or do we go heaters so we can actually use the infirmary? I'm gonna go heaters. Just because we're, we might run into some problems if we can't use that. And also, my, my food rations are looking okay. The hothouse is very important. But if my people start getting sick, we're in trouble. <laughs> 